It's now December 12th, 1676. A 12 year old Robert pushes the heavy wood door to the lab closed with a thud and the roaring wind outside is silenced. He takes a deep breath, shakes off the bits of snow from his cap, which instantly steams up as they hit the warm tiled floor of the lab. He rubs his chilly hands together as he approaches the lab bench for his first real day as an apprentice to the alchemist, Master Johann Betcher and Master Ernst Stahl. See, Robert's father has sent him from the farm to learn chemistry, but he feels terribly out of, space, out of, out of place. What were those incredible and confusing ideas that he had been taught just yesterday by Stahl under the stern watch of Master Betcher? That wax and wood and everything burnable contain a strange chemical called phlogiston, and phlogiston is combined with stuff like ash and soot, but when it's burned, the super light phlogiston just separates from the ash, and that releases heat and energy. It releases fire. Quite a radical theory to absorb. So he sees Betcher stooped over the flicking fireplace in the corner, and he's glowing strangely, and Robert realizes with a start that this crazy old alchemist has closed the chimney escape. The room is filling steadily and dangerously up with a nasty haze that makes young Robert's eyes water. He staggers over the chimney, wondering what's going on. He's trying to breathe through his shirt, but is still feeling lightheaded. As he finally makes it to the crazy old man, he sees that Betcher's finally flips the lever and is letting the smoke exit the chimney once more. The room begins to clear. Robert gasps. He looks at the old man with a wrinkled face. And Betcher says, Robert, why couldn't he have the nerve to ask this question? Why couldn't you breathe this now? And Betcher kind of turns with his piercing glaze. Robert, still kind of stunned, says, well, the room was filled with smoke, sir. Well, what do we breathe, young Robert? Uh, air, sir? Do we seem to be in a vacuum, Robert? The corners of Betcher's mouth seem to crease with a little kind of evil smile. Uh, he was clearly leading Robert onto something. What, sir? See, Robert never heard the word vacuum. Never mind, this will be our next question. Forget about the vacuum. What has happened to the air that makes it unbreathable? Kindly grab your apron and glassware. We have work to do. So let's return to this idea of a closed system. That laboratory was kind of like a closed system when he shut the chimney uh, chute and the, air, and the lab filled up with smoke. That was a closed system. So you and I, uh, let's return to this idea of a closed system. Can you figure out what happens when you isolate a burning material with a limited amount of air? This is the challenge. Let's get into lab.